Hi folks, nice from HighlandAndroid.com, where we get yeah. on Android every day. I know a lot of you have been asking me how to put a uh, multi-window working on your uh, non-Samsung phone. Now there is a way to do it uh, using this exposed module called X multi-window. And as you can see, I can get uh, both Twitter and uh, Facebook working at the same time here on my Nexus 4. And this will work on any Android uh, tablet or smartphone so long as you have a rooted Android device. Uh, let me go ahead and show you how to do this. Uh, so let's go do this baby. <sighs> All right, before we begin, you will need a rooted Android device. I'm using a Nexus 4 here, uh, but you can go ahead and use any Android smartphone tablet that has been rooted. So once you have rooted Android device, let's go do this. First, we're gonna go ahead and download two files that we need. Um, so go ahead and open up your browser and go type on Google Expose Installer, and you'll find the website where you can download Expose Installer. Uh, and then go ahead and swipe down and download the APK file, the file ending in APK. And hit OK if it thinks it's har uh, harmful. It's not harmful. There is no virus or spyware of any kind. Also, you'll need to download um, this other file. Go to downloadandroidrom.com. All right. Next, go ahead and go all the way down to APK. All right. Also have direct links to this so you don't have to browse through, but... Uh, for those of you on your phone and doing this, you can uh, try this. Next, go ahead and go down all the way down to exposed here. And then go ahead and down, go to a uh, multi-window here. And then go ahead and click on multi-window sidebar uh, 1.3 blah blah. Next, go ahead and browse to the bottom of the page and enter one of these uh, answers here. Um, so enter the captcha here limestone and hit the download link and that should download uh, the file say okay if it asks you if, if it's harmless again once you have the two files downloaded we're ready to go uh, we're gonna go ahead and use ES file explorer go ahead and download ES file explorer app all right and install this and the reason why I'm using this one is that sometimes it won't install right away on some phones so this way um, it'll work on every Android device out there. Go ahead and open ES File Explorer and then go ahead and go to your download folder. Um, go ahead and click on this one here. This is the Expose Installer. You might get Install Block. Simply go into Settings. Uh, hit Unknown Sources On. All right, say OK. Hit the Back button. And then go ahead and try to install it again. Uh, now you'll be able to install. Go ahead and hit Install. And don't open yet, go ahead and hit the back button and then go ahead and hit the multi-window sidebar, blah, blah, dot APK. This is another file. Go ahead and hit install. All right. When that's done, go ahead and hit the home button. And then in your app drawer, now you should have expose installer. So go ahead and click on expose installer. Go ahead and click on framework. And go ahead and hit install update. This might ask you for super user requests. Of course, make sure you hit allow. All right, and don't reboot yet, so hit the cancel button. And then go ahead and go down to download here and go search for X multi window, this one here. Go ahead and grab the X multi window, swipe to the right, hit the download button. And once this is downloaded, you'll be able to install it. Hit the install button. All right, don't open any of these yet. Um, go ahead, oops, go ahead and go back to Expose Installer and go to the modules. All right, and make sure you hit uh, that button there. And then go ahead and reboot your phone. And once it's rebooted, uh, we'll keep going. All right, once your phone has rebooted, go ahead and open up a multi-window sidebar here. There's actually two of them. This is we're toggling later on. Uh, this is the one you need. Go ahead and click on there. And go ahead and select the apps that you want to multitask. Um, so for this example, I'm gonna go ahead and choose Chrome. And I'm gonna go ahead and choose Dolphin Browser. All right, and you can add more apps if you want to. Hit the back button. And also you can set your drag, drag launch mode. Go ahead and set this to X multi-window. 
and also tap launch mode, set this to X multi-window top or bottom, all right? And that's pretty much it, hit the play button. Now you'll have uh, this bar, sort of like a Galaxy Note 3, Note 2, uh, and you can go ahead and start multitasking on the go. Simply click and drag, all right? And let me go ahead and show you. Uh, hi, oops, hi on android.com, all right, and the top one. Now, sometimes there is a bug on this. Um, sometimes the keyboard doesn't work right away. There's an easy fix. Simply drag it again to the window that you want the keyboard activated, and then you'll be able to also uh, enter again. There we go. Now, this isn't perfect by any means, um, but uh, it is a solution. Um, definitely for those of you uh, with a non-Samsung device uh, such as like Xperia uh, or any of the Nexus devices, um, you can go ahead and use this to get full multi-window working on your phone. You can also customize this tab. You can go ahead and change this theme to S5 if you want to. Uh, there we go. And also um, Note 3 if you want to. That makes it all black. And also you can change the position to the right uh, if you want to, there we go. Then you can go ahead and move it also any direction you like. So it makes it easy to access uh, your multi-window uh, sidebar. And thanks guys for watching this video. As you can see, you can get multi-window now working on any rooted Android smartphone or tablet. Um, so you have a device that does not support multi-window, definitely try it out and get super high on Android today. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button. And as always, I stay yeah. on Android.